Hi friends, Miss Lisa. We're going to read a story today about a different color. We've read about tan and pink. Today we're going to read about gray. Gray is also one of those colors that we don't necessarily talk about a lot, um, but it is a color that applies to a lot of things. So let's read about gray. The story is by Patricia Stockland and is illustrated by Julia Wolf. She's the one that drew the picture. So let's talk about gray. Grandma helps me with my buttons. My buttons are gray. Maybe you have something with gray buttons. We walk down the sidewalk. The sidewalk is gray. That's true, isn't it? The sidewalk is usually gray. We go to the subway. The subway car is gray. We don't really have subways around here in Minnesota, but they do in other cities and sometimes those cars are gray. We reach the art museum. The museum is gray. That's true of a lot of different art museums. We see a sculpture. The sculpture is gray. This is the sculpture they're talking about. A sculpture is something somebody made. Um, doesn't necessarily have to look like anything we would recognize, but it is a sculpture and this one happens to be gray. Grandma shows me an elephant. Elephants are gray. They are, aren't they? We know that. We sit down to have a snack. The table is gray. So the table that they're sitting at is gray. Some people have gray tables. Some people have white tables. Some people have brown tables. It's raining outside. The rainy sky is gray. And that's true too, isn't it? Sometimes when it rains, the sky looks kind of gray. The sun isn't necessarily shining. It's just kind of blah, gray. I buy a bead for grandma. The swirls in the bead are gray. So you can see that bead right there is pink with gray swirls. Grandma gives me a big hug. Her soft sweater is gray. I have a gray sweater too that I wear quite often. It's kind of nice because it goes with anything. There are three primary colors, red, blue, and yellow. Three, these colors combine to make other colors. All three primary colors mixed together make black. But if you mix white with black, you make gray. And if you put a little more white in, it's a light gray. So there you go. That's how we make gray. So that is our story for this week about gray and you should see if there's anything around your house that's gray. You might be surprised how many things there are around your house that are gray. And we don't usually think about that very much. So have fun with that. And maybe you could make a list of the things that you find and practice your writing too. Have a good day. Bye.